initially thought. No, but the bout ended by disqualification with Joshua Pasha getting the one straw with MMA World Title. Just want to ask Josh. I just want to ask Jared. Did it did it already sink in? And if it and if the answer is yes, what were the steps taken? What were the steps taken for you to move on and see it as just another bump on the road? Um, you know, like right after Herb told me, and I, I looked at the replay. You know, I didn't realize the severity of of what it was. And then I, I looked at the replay, and then I, I slowed it down in the van on the way back to the hotel. Yeah. And I was like, damn, that was really bad. And um, you know, it wasn't anything that i wanted to do to josh like i mean we, we are going out there to you know potentially kill one another but i'm not gonna sit there and try to take a man's career take yeah. a man's life and, and you know anything like that i don't want people to think i'm a i'm a dirty fighter either i, I feel like uh, i've had 42 fights and that's happened you know one time and and i uh i definitely learned from that lesson um you know you gotta you gotta move on quick in life and that's a, a big thing that my dad and my mom taught me yeah. Um, you know, and obstacles come in your way, and I think I've I've had a pretty unlucky career, like as far as my losses go, yeah. and yeah. it's it, you know it's it's pretty crazy, and it, it, every time it's God showing me, you know, yeah. um, that I need to be more humble and uh, inside and outside of life. So, um, yeah, it's a, it's a good learning experience, and learning from that it just makes me even stronger. So, super happy that uh, that Josh is okay and that he's he potentially ready to move on quick. So, hopefully, we get this rematch down, and and I I appreciate him doing that. It's a uh, it's probably like really hard for for him and his team to like you know grasp what happened and it's, yeah. it's hard for me and my team to grasp yeah. what happened you're like yeah and really like, to man, celebrate yeah crazy on his side yeah yeah jared that sequence in that rematch wherein you took down joshua pasho is still debated to this day and many see it you know many fans in particular in the philippines you now most of them they see it as intentional while others beg to disagree but for someone who has been covering mma for so long like yours truly let's throw the intentional narrative out of the window. And I really want to know if, if it's more of a muscle memory on your part, since you're a decorated wrestler and a fighter who has begun, who has, who has started an MMA career under the unified MMA rules of M the unified MMA rules. Was it more of a muscle memory uh, on your part? When somebody usually grabs a Kimura, like mm -hmm. I'm thinking lift them to scare them. Yeah. Right. And, and that's, that's really what it was. It was, I thought that he was going to land on his feet. When I train with Justice Goggins, when I train with Hody, when I train with anybody that is, yeah. is you know, pretty good at wrestling, yeah. they, they catch themselves on, on their feet, on their feet. But I did, I've been going with some big guys lately. Yeah. Right. And it's a lot harder to lift those guys up. And then they end up catching themselves on their feet, if yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And, uh, Josh was lighter than I expected. Yeah. And I, I mean, I'm not, I'm not making any excuses yeah. at the end of the day. It, to be honest, I was not expecting for him to land on his neck like that. That's yeah. insane. Like looking at the replay, I'm like, oh shit! Like yeah. Yeah. I, I can't get that out of my head. Like you know, um, for for people to even think that yeah. you know I'm I'm trying to do this intentionally, trying to take somebody's yeah. you know career and life away. Yeah. That's uh, that's insane to me. So, but yeah, so, uh, so let's put some context here, uh, Jared, because there's one comment here. Uh, it says like, lo looking back, do you see ways for Joshua to defend himself from that takedown that could have avoided that kind of accident in the rematch? It's a, it's a, it was a sudden thing, man. It's very hard to put a, to a print, put a print on it. You know what I mean? It's a, it was just like a sudden, like yeah. weird occurrence. You know, yeah. I can't like really, really put, put my thumb on, um, and on trying to explain it and how it happened. It's, yeah. it's something that, you know, it, it was yeah. in my control legally in yeah. the, in the, the rules of one championship. Yeah. So I got to take, take the heat on that, you know, yeah. at the end of the day, no but, excuses. Yeah. But of course, you know, during, uh, before the fight, Every fighter on the roster, everybody, every, every fight, every fighter who's competing on the card gets brief uh, for that, right? So the next question is, were you aware? Because this is what fans are using as an argument on social media. And let's clear this out. Were you aware that takedowns resulting in the head, neck, and spine are prohibited under one's global MMA rule set? 100%. I've known that for three fights. Yeah. And, you know, I've done, I've done throws. I've done, you know, yeah. um, plenty of, of takedowns that, you know, um, guys landing on their backs, you know, and that was not my intention was for him to land yeah. on top of his head or on top of his neck. Yeah. And um, to lose, you know, as a red card, you we all know what happens pay-wise yeah. with a red card. And yeah. I, I get stripped of my belt. You think that yeah. in the back of my head, I yeah. want to do that? Yeah. I, I want to yeah. eliminate all of that from, from my picture in my world? Yeah. No, that's yeah. not what I wanted to do at all. Yeah. And, um, and, and from Josh's side, yeah. I don't, I don't want to, you know, paralyze yeah. somebody yeah or, or be known as a dirty fighter and nobody wants to fight me because yeah. because of that you know and that's not that's not what mine and i and i appreciate josh take, taking another fight he's saying that he's down so that, that's yeah. good to me yeah. um 
but yeah, that, that's that's the way I think about it. If if somebody's thinking I'm the you know trying to attempt a murder, or trying yeah. to do something in, inside of the ring, I've had like I said almost yeah. forty five fights in my whole career, yeah. and oh. I've, I've I barely hurt anybody off of my slams. Yeah, yeah, that's it's better that we get that uh, clarification from you now, Jared. If we would assess the takedown you executed in the rematch, that's legal under unified MMA rules because Joshua was attempting a submission, in particular a kimura lock, and regardless of how you bring him down. Under M under unified MMA rules, it's a clean takedown. Now the question is, do you think one should revisit this rule, or now looking back, do you see the wisdom behind it as to one as to why one distant distance itself from that move, or in spiking in general? You know, even though it's like a freak accident, I mean, it would have been great to yeah. um to, to celebrate that win, yeah. you know. But at the same time, I understand where like watching the video, uh, yeah. going back and putting it into yeah. slow motion while they put it in slow motion, I was like. You know, I can I can definitely see you know yeah. why uh why one championship does that, and yeah. it's it's okay, man. I'm not uh, a yeah. I'm not biased to to yeah. anything. If if I lose, I I understand. Like it, it's something that that I understand. I'm moving on from it, and yeah. any time that I lose, it's in twos. So yeah. you, you best know I'm I'm coming for yeah. for literally everything in one championship now. In relation to that question, you know, it's tough to lose a title on the scorecard or by finish, but losing a title by disqualification is another thing, Jared. There have been cases in the past that titles changed hands by disqualification and it's not an isolated case in one championship it also happened in the ufc as someone who had to go through this do you think it's fair that titles should change hands by disqualification or as uh, or as hey to guys comment reaction tayo dito one on one interview ni uh, the mma super fan kaya jared brooks ayun so courtesy kaya mma super fan po itong uh, video na ito uh, comment reaction tayo dito sa one on one interview ni uh, Jared Brooks at uh, mukhang uh, gusto niya agad ang rematch kay uh, Joshua Pasio. Ayon, comment reaction tayo dito. Panoorin natin itong susunod na video. Funny as it may sound, should MMA take a page out of professional wrestling where disqualification, you know, doesn't allow titles to change hands, you know? I mean, that that's made up games with WWE, yeah. you know. I mean, and it's not it's not like they don't do their job and like you know it isn't yeah. dangerous and stuff yeah. like that that is very dangerous in what they do yeah. but i mean at the end of the day it's acting me yeah. i i i i do put on like a yeah. like a little a little yeah. bit of myself just for entertainment yeah. aspects yeah. but i don't change who i am yeah. you know what i mean so at the end of the day i think that um that no nah, i mean if if Josh wants wants that belt and he thinks that he deserves that belt then then he may have it yeah but um you know it's it's all a champion is is somebody that lives in and out of of fighting and that's me that I, I literally fighting is in my dna yeah. so um it doesn't matter about a tie i've never thought about that belt just you know being a being a thing or a title being a thing i just wanted to beat the best and i, I still want to beat the best which is joshua pasio he's, he's an amazing athlete and amazing fighter um and then i want to fight demetrius johnson if, if i can get yeah. past joshua pasio so yeah. and i feel like I, I really can yeah let's talk about that more of that later so you know let's go back to the fight they say you can't judge a fight in 56 seconds and I agree with that. Now, but I have to ask this. Have you seen improvements on the part of Joshua Pasha despite you telling me that, you know, you, you didn't expect Joshua to be that light for you to lift him up and, you know, execute that takedown in the rematch? Um, I, I mean, I, I see his adjustments in that, that 50, like we were on our feet for, I'd say, 30, 35 seconds, mm -hmm. right? So I did see his movement adjusted and uh, the way that he's, that he's throwing kicks. He's, mm -hmm. uh, he's throwing kicks a lot uh, faster. And he's turning his back, and he's but he's trying to get closer to the end of my calf, so he, he has to get deeper, and that's why I was able to to get his back. Yeah. So yeah. Um, that I would say all the way around, his his movement felt better. But when you get punched a couple of times, yeah. you you want to really punch the guy, so you you know dig your feet in. So uh, I think that that's yeah. all about how much time you put into your footwork. Yeah. Now this is a submitted question from one of my followers on Facebook, Jared Brooks. Do you still do you still see yourself as the champion? You know, um, you can't you can't really judge until you know you're only as good as your last fight. Yeah. And Joshua won that won that fight by disqualification. So uh, I gotta I gotta put my place back and yeah. you know yeah. get this fight. I, I think we should get this fight done like right away. If Josh is yeah. good and you know a CT yeah. scans everything in his neck, you know yeah. give it two months and yeah. do it while it's hot. We have a lot of traction yeah. going yeah. on yeah. with with Brooks and Posse out three, and yeah. I think that that would you know be huge right now. So. Yeah. Um, but you know that's if Josh is okay, and if yeah. he feels you know training training is another aspect, yeah. and cutting weight is another aspect. I yeah. get that. So, um, but I, I'm ready. I'm ready anytime. 